Welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and we've got a new game from Cryptozoic, the latest release for their DC deck building game, Forever Evil. Now, for those who don't know, D the DC deck building game is a deck building game based off of DC Comics. So what's a deck building game? So instead of games like Magic or Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, where you are building a deck beforehand and then like playing your cards, you actually uh, spend points throughout the game to build your own deck. There's a whole line of games with that sort of mechan mechanic, and what's, those are known as a deck building game. So... Uh, Cryptozoic's got a couple releases having to do with this game. There's the main DC deck building game. There's Heroes Unite, which was the kind of second release. It's a standalone game. Uh, they've got a Crisis expansion, which was their first expansion based off of uh, the Infinite Crisis and various uh, events in the DC universe. And this is the latest Forever Evil. So Forever Evil was a storyline where basically uh, evil versions of Superman, Wonder Woman, uh, Batman, uh, Flash, so on and so forth, came over from their Earth to ours, beat the Justice League, and kind of took over. Um, in the end, it was Lex Luthor and kind of his ragtag uh, heroes had to kind of sign up, uh, get together, and defeat the uh, doppelganger, the bad versions of Superman. So uh, this is, based off of that, it's for two to five players, ages 15 and up. Um, the tagline is, it's good to be bad. So you actually get to play as the bad guys. Uh, so you battle the Justice League and others. Uh, you can take treachery to new heights with this villainous-themed set. Introduces victory point tokens, 200-plus game cards, including equipment, superpowers, heroes, villains, superheroes, starter, weakness, and playable oversized supervillains. Fully compatible with all of the other deck-building games that are out there. So what's cool is you can play uh, Heroes Unite, the main game, this all together, even the Crisis expansion, if you wanted. So let's kind of crack this open and show off what you get. Uh, we're actually fans here of the deck building game. I think they're a lot of fun. This one actually includes a promo as well. So let's kind of leave that. So first and foremost, the rules. The rules aren't very thick at all. They're very, very simple. It's an easy game to play. Um, the promo card that comes with this one is Bane. Uh, which is cool. If the first card you play during each of your turns has cost one or greater, you may destroy it. If you do, you get two plus plus two power. So being, give me a little power here and there, so that's not quite a, a shocker. Um, so these are the power tokens, the victory tokens, which I'm sure make things a lot easier. A lot of them kind of fell out in transit, which isn't bad because then it just saves time for me having to punch it. Um, so there's tokens here for this card cannot be bought or gained which is frozen, and then there's uh, tokens that I'm going to guess to help you keep score. So a whole bunch of those already in here, but let's kind of go through the various cards and show off what you get. So the big thing with, with this game is that you kind of pick a uh, hero to play as, but in this version you're playing as the villains instead, so a little bit different than the normal game. Uh, and as such, the cards are kind of based off of that. So Punch, instead of like maybe Superman or Batman, you've got Lex Luthor punching Batman. Very appropriate. For the vulnerabilities, you have Black Adam getting zapped by his magical lightning. And Weakness, uh, this was the uh, evil version of Green Lantern, Power Ring. Uh, you get to see his hand all corrupted and having issues, which is a, a big thing of the story. So... Again, uh, you know, a really cool thing that I like about the game is that it uh, it takes art directly from the comics it's based off of and puts it on, you know, the, the actual art of the cards. So you get to see um, art that, you know, you, you saw in the comic books, which is really, really nice and uh, very cool. It's a great way to tie it in the, the DC Comics game uh, to the DC Comics itself. So let's see what we got here. So we've got equipment such as Venom Injector from Bane, what a shock, comes with the Bane card. Uh, the Cold Gun from uh, Mr. Freeze, uh, or Captain Cold, I mean. Uh, uh, Pandora's Box, which is a big thing that leads the whole Forever Evil. Man Bat Serum, Sledgehammer, uh, Mallet from Harley Quinn, Secret Society Communicator, big thing in the game, Cosmic Staff, 
broadsword for Deathstroke and Firestorm Matrix, which is again a huge thing in the game. And power armor, uh, Lex Luthor's power armor. We're gonna kind of just put this stuff away as we go. Don't want to create too much of a mess. All right, so let's see what else we got. We got heroes such as Steve Trevor, a huge part of the Forever Seal uh, storyline. Commissioner Gordon, also kind of a big deal. Vibe hero, we don't really see too much anymore. Uh, Catwoman. Dr. Light, Steel, Amanda Waller, Element Woman, Star Girl, Phantom Stranger, Power Girl, Firestorm, Pandora, The Flash, Green Arrow, Swamp Thing, Constantine, Cyborg, Aquaman, Batman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Martian Manhunter, Shazam, Superman. A lot of these are heroes that we actually saw in the main game, so um, their table. Cryptozoic has taken some of the, the characters you can play as in some of the other sets, like Shazam, Superman, Batman, and put them as hero cards that you can buy throughout the game. So, uh, familiar. It's kind of cool that it's a very familiar thing, and I'm going to guess those heroes actually have mechanics that kind of play off of their, their main cards. Um, locations are becoming a bigger thing throughout each set. Um, locations, not many in the first set. The second set, Heroes Unite, there were a few more. So here we actually got a bunch. We got Bell Reeve, Black Gate, Central City, Happy Harbor, Star Labs, Earth 3, where, where the uh, evil versions of the Justice League come from, um, all play a huge role in the Forever Evil storyline. So again, like for those who know the story, um, will be familiar with it. So superpowers, we have Word of Power, which is Shazam, Shazam Giant Growth, Insanity, Expert Marksman, Invulnerable, Kick, which is kind of like the main things to buy, kind of the generic cards, Power Drain, Super Intellect, Transmutation, Bizarro Power, and Constructs of Fear, and Ultra Strength. Kind of playing off of the main set, a lot of very similar superpowers that you saw in the main set. And then the villains, we've got Emperor Penguin, uh, Grid, Johnny Quick, Atomica, Man Bat, Death Storm, Giganta, The Blight, Royal Flesh Gang, Despero, Owlman, Power Ring, Superwoman, Ultraman. Again, main villains that you see throughout the Forever Evil storyline. And then finally, let's see if we can actually get this open easily. We've got the villains themselves that you play as. So uh, in the main game, you basically choose one hero or villain that you're going to play as in the game. In this case, you're playing as villains. So we've got Black Adam, Black Manta, Bizarro, Deathstroke, Harley Quinn, Lex Luthor, Sinestro, all key villains who help uh, defeat uh, Ultraman and his uh, Injustice League and kind of free the heroes. So uh, it's kind of cool in that you're you know, they're flipping things around a little bit. You've got villains that you're playing instead of the heroes. Uh, looks like they've got easier ways to keep track of the points at the end of the game with the with the uh, stars and stuff like that. Uh, easier ways to kind of check uh, keep track of cards that can't be played. Um, you know, it's something I'm going to be day in playing a whole lot. Uh, we're again we're fans of the main DC game. We played the Heroes Unite, which is a nice spin on the main game, and now we've got Forever Evil, which takes very similar mechanics and uh, gives us new characters to play as. And again, what's really cool is that you can go and combine all the sets in different ways. So you could have Shazam versus Black Adam if you really wanted to, um, or Lex Luthor versus Superman if you want to. Uh, it's just a very great system that you can go and do that in a very simple game, and it's very easy to do that sort of stuff. So we're going to go and we're going to play through Forever Evil. We're going to check out what's a little bit different than the uh, main DC deck building game and the Heroes Unite game. Game, come back, talk about it, uh, and explain you know what you can expect. There's absolutely a difference between DC, uh, the main deck building game, and the Heroes Unite, and I expect there's going to be a bit of a difference here for Forever Evil. So you can go out if you haven't uh, gotten presents yet. It's a great one to get, uh, especially for comic fans who are into games. Uh, it's out now in stores, Forever Evil of the DC deck building game by Cryptozoic. Thank you, Cryptozoic, for hooking us up and uh, giving us a copy for us to check out and uh, get our game on. So until next time, this is Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. You can find us every single day at graphicpolicy.com. You can see us on YouTube, obviously, Facebook, Twitter, wherever, all at Graphic Policy. We keep it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep it geeky.